toasters, the unwanted wedding gift, the college dorm necessity, and the perpetuator of our addiction to carbs. Well, except for me, because I happen to be wheat intolerant, and I haven't had a darn piece of toast in over 12 years. Not like I'm upset about it or anything. That aside, you guys have all kinds of toaster cleaning questions, and I can't blame you, because the toaster is this little compartmentalized gadget that gets placed neatly in a corner, and it hides all of its dirty little secrets on those racks or in the crumb tray. And to make matters more complicated, there are two kinds of toasters out there, pop-up toasters and toaster ovens. And each of them need to be cleaned a little bit differently. So to be safe, I'll teach you how to clean both. Oh, and this video goes out to Kyle. And if any of you follow us on Facebook, you may recall that Kyle was the first guy that recognized me in public. So I asked him what his cleaning question was, and it was about toaster cleaning. So Kyle, this one's for you. The first type of toaster I'm going to be talking about is the traditional pop-up style toaster. And then we're going to cover the toaster oven. But if you're not interested in watching the first part and just want to jump directly to the toaster oven cleaning instructions, check the description where you'll find a link that will magically transport you to that part of the video. Keep in mind that a toaster is not like a barbecue, which kind of tastes better with charred bits at the bottom. A dirty toaster can smell, smoke, catch fire, and make your food taste bad. You have to clean these toasters out, ideally once every couple of weeks for just a quick clean, and then do a more thorough clean about once a month. So I'll show you how to do both. Here's what you'll need. A small cleaning toothbrush, nail polish remover, cream of tartar, dish soap, a sponge, ideally non-scratching, and a cloth. For starters, unplug the toaster. Wait until it's cool to clean. Then, remove the crumb tray and brush it off into the sink or garbage. Just give it a wipe and set aside. Now, onto those crazy coils. You obviously can't remove them, so you need to actually brush it clean. So what you're going to do is dampen your cleaning toothbrush with water and use it to brush any of the particles out on the sides that are trapped in the coils. And keep a paper towel under the toaster while doing this to avoid getting crumbs everywhere. You can't rinse the coils, which is why we're only using water and no dish soap on the toothbrush. When that's done, clean the exterior with your sponge and soapy water. If the exterior is stainless steel, you can make a paste of cream of tartar and water to scrub the gunk off, and that will shine it up. Now here's a cool tip. If you have color transfers on your toaster, say from plastic bags, you can use a little bit of nail polish remover to get those marks off. All you need to do is put some on a cotton ball, wipe it away, and boom, the stain will be gone. Okay, so you've got a toaster oven. We do too. But like some things in my house, only some, we keep it pretty clean. So we needed to dirty this thing up for the video. What I ended up doing was convincing Chad to spend the morning eating cheese on toast. It was a hard sell. But after about 32 slices, we managed to get the toaster oven in the state you will see in just a moment. And I'm thinking it's an acceptable amount of grimy. Here's what you'll need. Soft sponge, cream of tartar, dish soap, nail polish remover, and a cloth. Once again, we're going to unplug the toaster. Wait until it's cool to clean it. Your toaster's always cool, but you know what I mean. Remove the racks to start. Make a paste of cream of tartar and water. This will be safe for the interior, wire racks, exterior, and the glass door. Apply the paste to the racks and let them sit in the sink to soak. Do this for the crumb tray as well. Now we usually line ours with tin foil to make cleanup easier, especially because a lot of things with cheese get created in our toaster. Here's where things get a little bit spicy. Add the paste to the sponge. Apply the paste to the interior of the toaster and then the exterior. Use a cloth dampened with water to rinse the interior 
and then move on to the exterior, do the same thing, and then buff everything to dry. Finally, you'll clean the racks and the trays in the sink. Put the whole thing back together and you're good to toast, so long as it's been thoroughly dried. I don't want any messages saying you have been electrocuted. And this is worth repeating. If you notice any color transfers from bread bags or anything else that you have in the kitchen, there's an easy way to remove it. All you need to do is take a little bit of nail polish remover, put it on a cotton ball, and just wipe the stain away on the toaster. It's really easy and works like a charm. Now you know how to clean any kind of toaster you're going to encounter. If you have any cleaning questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment box below. We try to get back to all of your questions and we appreciate every single comment that you guys leave us. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button right down there to catch more of our latest and greatest cleaning videos, tips, tricks, and a whole bunch of other great cleaning stuff. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.